Hey everybody, as you may know, Windows 10 is now available. For those of you that have Windows 7, Windows 8, or 8.1, you get a free upgrade to go to Windows 10. We just thought we'd shoot a quick video here of how to install LiveTime on Windows 10, how to navigate a little bit, uh, and show you that LiveTime works in Windows 10, so feel free to upgrade to it. So the first thing is, here's Windows 10. I've already upgraded and installed. One thing you should note is that before you upgrade to any new operating system, you definitely want to do a backup of LiveTime's database, just in case something goes wrong or it deletes the database and you didn't intend to do that. Uh, there is another video on how to do a backup and restore in uh, the LiveTime training video, so check that out. Just make sure you have a backup before you upgrade. So now I'm in Windows 10. Windows 10's default browser is Microsoft Edge. It looks like a little e. It looks very close to Internet Explorer. Uh, if you go ahead and click it, this is your regular browser. You can just type in Lifetime RC here, and we're at the main site. You notice the page loads up just fine. Click on download just like I would before, and I'm going to go ahead and hit the download button here, and it starts downloading. You'll know a little pop-up comes up here when you download new files. If you want to see files you're downloading, you can hit this little icon here and click the Downloads button. You can see it downloading. Once that's finished, I'm going to cancel this because I actually already downloaded it. Once that's finished, you can close this out. And if you open up File Explorer, which you can get to if there's a shortcut down here, or in your Start menu, there's a File Explorer option here as well. You can just click it. Go ahead and click on the Download section in the left-hand side. And here's the latest version of LiveTime. So I'll go ahead and just install it like usual by running it. I'll agree to the terms and install. And I'll let LiveTime go ahead and install everything it needs to here. All right, and we're just about finished. And there you go, set up successful. All right, I'll close out of this. You can go ahead and delete the download here. You don't really need it any longer. So I'll drag it to the recycle bin. Same way as other Windows systems. You can drag something to the recycle bin, right click and empty if, if you want. So the shortcut shows up on your desktop, this lifetime shortcut here, and double clicking on it will start up lifetime like usual. If you want to find lifetime from your programs menu, things have changed a little bit. If you hit the start menu here, um, because we recently added it, Lifetime shows up here. If you want to, you can even pin it to the start, and then you have a nice little tile here that you can move around and click. I'll unpin it just to show you how to get rid of it. Unpin. And then under All Apps is where all your programs are listed. So if you scroll down here, um, there's a Lifetime folder, and Lifetime, the icon is right underneath it. So normally in the past you'd go to you know all programs, lifetime, lifetime. Here you don't need to go to all programs anymore. You just hit that all apps piece and then go to lifetime and launch it from here. And same way it fires up lifetime. If you want to get quick access from the pin, you can right click it down here and say pin this program to the taskbar. Then when I close it, the icon's still available and I can just fire it right back up. Now there's one other thing about Windows 10. If you're running this on a tablet or a very small screen, the system might be in something called tablet mode. Tablet mode can be turned on and off by using this little notification area here and just turning it on. When you do that, you might say, okay, well now I get all my tiles, but how do I get to the to, the, to live time? If that's the case, you just click on, you can click on the little hamburger icon here to pop out all the text or you can just click right on here, which is the All Apps, and you can get to the same way by clicking Lifetime and clicking here. If you're using a tablet, it might be easier to right-click it and pin it so that you can just tap it with your finger to start it up. And that's it. Those are all the different ways that Windows 10 lets you uh, fire up and go into Lifetime. Hopefully you found this helpful. Good luck on your upgrade to Windows 10, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.